Well, I think that uh, in medical school, you rotate through a lot of all specialties, and usually you personality sort of directs you into a certain specialty. And I think of all the specialties, family medicine is one that appealed to me the most. Um, I couldn't see myself spending all my time doing surgery or um, anesthesia. I mean, I like to do a lot of different things, and so family medicine seemed to fit that um, my personality trait. I think the most rewarding thing about family medicine is the relationships you have with patients. I have patients that I delivered and I'm still seeing now, uh, 25 years later, which unfortunately makes me feel fairly old, but I think that relationship that you have with patients is one of the main things that um, really I think um, I find very rewarding in family medicine. Well, I think the, the most important attributes are someone who has people skills. You have to want to interact with patients. Now, all physicians, no matter what specialty, have to interact well with patients. But I think that um, in family medicine, more than any other specialty, you have to be able to deal with children, adults, family members. Uh, and I think it's um, that's very important. You have to want to do that. And obviously, you have to be someone that can accept a challenge of multiple different problems that you may see during the course of a day. I think the nice thing about family medicine is that you can tailor it to your interests. Um, if you don't like hospital work, you can be in the outpatient setting. Um, if you like the hospital work, you can tailor your practice to be in the hospital. Uh, I think that you have a lot of flexibility to, to figure out how much time you can spend, how much time you have to spend with your family. And so I think more than any other specialty, you have a lot of flexibility in that regard. I think the biggest challenge in family medicine is that you have to be open to dealing with all sorts of different problems. For instance, uh, I might see a 94-year-old patient and the next patient I might see a newborn. So I think this variety is a very challenging. And it, Sometimes I think it scares um, prospective family physicians because they say, well, I can't know everything. And it's not that you have to know everything, but you have to have, be well-grounded in all the basic specialties in family medicine. Well, I think that um, if you like people and you like interactions with patients, that's what you need to um, be aware of if you want to go into a career of family medicine. And you have to accept that you can't know everything, but that you have the ability to research and to um, look up or ask your colleagues when you don't know things and are able to um, steer patients in the right direction if you yourself can't find the answers.